Have you ever heard someone describe their healing as peeling layers of an onion? There's always another one to discover, and there's a whole hoop and bunch of crying. Your powerful mind, known as your subconscious, which runs all of your habits and patterns, and whether it is spiraling into success or continuing to spiral into struggle, well, it uses symbolism, not rationalization, justification language. It is going to use the metaphors and the stories that you give. And so it's going, oh, okay. Well, we'll continue to find more things to cry over and more levels that as we peel it back, it's going to hurt. Stop. The subconscious will not tolerate a void. So when you take something out, you've got to choose its replacement or it will choose for you based on what you just let go of, which is the reason why some people, when they release a bad habit and they haven't chose how they're going to spiral up, they spiral down into picking another bad habit or another bad relationship or another bad reason to fail. There are three other levels past healing. And it's time for you to begin to step up into expressing more of who you are at your healthiest by moving into those other levels and then developing the identity that each of those levels is wrapped into. By the way, I am teaching today from uh, the course in Dreams into Reality, my membership program. And the course for this month is Spiraling into Success or Struggle, Healing, Wholeness, Thriving, a Life by Design. So you've got those three other levels that you can start moving up into, but you've got to consciously choose it. Or you'll go back to finding another level where you got to rip the Band-Aid off and, ow, that hurts. So wholeness, because because there's healing. And, And healing simply means that what infected us has been stopped. It's been cleaned up. It's It's done with. But then there's wholeness. Wholeness says that what we lost through the betrayal, through the pain, through being done wrong, is now going to be restored to us. In the New Testament, uh, it talks about the lepers that approached Jesus and said, hey, heal us. And he did. And then he said, go back and uh, present yourself to the Pharisees so you can rejoin the community as someone who's healed. Now, out of those 10, one of them returned to say thank you. And Jesus said, because of that, you've now been made whole. So the fingers, the toes, that the body parts that were missing because of the disease comes back. Wait, what? Mm Mm-hmm. So this means that the years that you lost to the betrayal, well, it's not just the years, it's the experiences that you would have had being healthy in those years. Those are now going to be returned to you. Uh, Let me tell you, living a a life where goodness and, and mercy and all these beautiful things that you thought you would never begin to have. When when they start flooding back one after another after another, that is absolutely a life of amazing grace. And it is waiting for you. What you thought, the relationships that were gone, the finances that couldn't be recouped, it is all going to come back And it is going to come back magnified. So that's wholeness. 
But then there's two other levels past that. Thriving. Because now what you need to experience to bring you out at your very best, where you can produce the fruit that you were always meant to have in your life, that's not now here. So it's not just one area of your life, all the areas of your life now pull together and begin to operate as a whole for you to experience not just the goodness, but the greatness that it was always meant for you to move through you. See, the world is a better place when you're better in it. And it can't be better when you're stuck and struggling and going, oh my gosh, how much more do I need to go through before life is finally okay? That's when you're stuck at the healing level. So wholeness says things have been returned to you. And now life begins to not just become an adventure, but um, what's beyond the adventure. This is a life of worth and value. But when you've been taught to build value into being stuck at the healing level, hmm, I wonder if there's some aspects of the healthcare industry that would be more than happy to see you stuck at the level of healing because of how they're going to benefit and what you are going to continue to need to take in order just to try to maintain healing. Mm -hmm. um, by the way, if you want more information on Dreams into Reality, the monthly membership program, and the fact that you can get your first month for less than $1 a day U.S., go to my website, dawnlandrum.com, and uh, click on the tab that says Dreams into Reality. You get 50% off your first month right now. Okay, because again, this is the course that I'm teaching from. So uh, living a life where it is thriving, this is when you begin to feel like a superstar, uh, that, that the darkness that was around you, it will never put out your light. But there is still another level above this. And this is a life by design. This is when you choose the experiences that are going to put a demand on you because there's a difference be between being challenged and solving a problem. See, to be promoted in school, you were taught to solve problems. A lot of time in the business world, well, to be promoted, you solve problems. That is a different type of life than to say, hmm, what experiences do I want to move into that are going to challenge me to bring out even more of my focus, of my emotional optimization, of my implementation for impact? How can I know, now show others how to do this? This is the level of leadership. But a level of leadership does not mean that you're taking the path of least resistance. That's spiraling down into problems. No, this says, I want to discover what else I possess and how I can bring it to the world. So each of these levels has an identity, an aspect of your personality with your focus, with your emotional optimization, with your implementation, for impact. And I'm challenging you to move up into those additional levels because the world needs your brilliance more than ever. If you haven't noticed, it's a pretty dark place out there. We need the light you already possess, but it has to become stronger because you're spiraling up. And then you are on, on the mountainside, 
holding up the light, holding up the torch, holding up the lantern for others so they can see the path on how to move up. But you have to reach that higher level first. I'm inviting you into those levels. Are you up to the challenge? <laughs>